Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Jaclyn Hill's Botox nurse indirectly called Jaclyn Hill fat. Oh my god. Jaclyn Hill had taken to her Instagram story to discuss all of the drama that had happened at her Botox appointment. So first of all, Jaclyn had posted this pic. Talk y'all shit. It was an absolutely gorgeous, flawless pic of her just about to get her Botox done. Then a fan had messaged her saying, wait what? Are you getting your nose and lips done? To which Jaclyn responded, I got my nose injected with Juvederm to make it appear straighter. I changed my mind and ended up not touching my lips today. Another fan had said, me during Starbucks holiday drink season. Extra whip, please. So, quick funny story. When I was getting my nose injected today, uh, you can see my bruises right there. They kind of look like freckles and I have a filter on because I look like ass and I am proud of it because it feels great to lay here. Um, <laughs> when I was done, I was like, oh, also I have a question. Uh, do you guys have any sort of like treatment or anything to get rid of like this you know like all of this right here like i've gained a lot of weight this year and i don't like this like can we just like do something like a quick easy treatment that doesn't require surgery and she was like no sweetie that'll go away when you lose weight and i was like okay and before you guys get pissed off and come for this girl for calling me fat because i know how my followers are you guys are very defensive and protective it was actually funny. Like it genuinely made me laugh. I was like, yeah, I get it. She was like, there's laser treatments out there, but you have to do them routine, like around the clock to really keep up, you know? But once you lose a few pounds, it's gonna go away. It's gonna get better. She was encouraging, but still overall, the way it just like came out was so funny. I'm like, it's true. Like all this, I just look swollen. I look like my face is like, Bruh. whatever. So one more thing that I wanted to mention to you guys, I didn't want to talk about this too soon on my socials because I wanted the supporters of Jacqueline Cosmetics to be the first people to see this announcement, the people who actually follow my brand on socials to have first dibs at commenting and entering. But if you head over to Jacqueline Hill Cosmetics Instagram, we are giving away 10 full-size PR packages to my supporters. And I am so excited we put some packages aside for giveaways and it's just, it's just so exciting to me, you know, because the ba the box is so beautiful. You get every single product, especially for the makeup artists out there. It's so convenient for you guys because you have all the shades for all different skin tones. So head over to my brand page and enter the giveaway. What are your thoughts on how Jaclyn was treated? Let me know in the comments. In other news, Jaclyn Hill has had some PR drama. Jaclyn has sent her PR kits to many beauty gurus, even drama channels, and now micro-influencers. So what's the problem, you ask? Oh dear. Honey, honey, honey. There's always a problem when it comes to Jaclyn Cosmetics. So one of the micro-influencers that Jaclyn had sent her PR kit to had taken to her Twitter to kind of rant, but she was mainly just confused as to why she'd only received one highlighter in her PR kit. She had said, So, I'm I'm confused. I was added to Jaclyn Hill's PR list and was going to review her highlighter collection, but was only sent one of the products. Everyone else I seen was sent the entire collection. I mean, I'm grateful, just confused. Fans had commented, that's a lot of packaging for just one product. Also, I thought when people were brought on PR, they usually got the full collection as it was released. To be honest, around the time that you tweeted you were added to their PR list, I saw a few other micro-influencers added too, and every single one of them only received one product like you. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a brand do this, so I'm curious as to why they did. The fan had responded, I'm okay with not receiving everything, but it would have been nice to get at least one thing from each category to test out and review. It's kind of a slap in the face to see drama channels get the entire collection and then people who actually do makeup get one thing. 100% agree, one of each product would have made more sense. I'm not here to drag her. I guess it was my own fault to get excited to be added to PR, thinking I'd get the entire collection to review. So yes, opening the big box to see one product was a bit of a shock and disappointment, no matter how grateful you are for the opportunity. Another fan had said, key word is micro-influencer. The people who are in charge of PR for Jaclyn Cosmetics must think that you are given only the certain amount of product depending on how micro your fan base is. This is just sad. If you can't afford to add new influencers, don't. This just makes you look cheap. Well, I don't know because I've seen people with a smaller following than me get sent the entire thing. I don't know. I just assumed if you're added to the PR, then you get the PR box. I received the same thing. I'm obviously super grateful too, but I was really excited to try out her new highlighter palette. I'm just really confused why you'd add someone and not send them the entire line, or at least one of everything to try it. Well, plus I've seen almost everyone receive the full PR box. I don't want to sound ungrateful. I'm just a bit bummed. Yeah, I wasn't even expecting the entire collection. Just a few of the pieces that would have suited my skin tone. I thought I was the only person that just received the one piece, and I was so confused. Lol. To be honest, I'm not really a fan of Jaclyn Hill, but from a business standpoint, she's not dumb to do things this way. Yes, her lipsticks and products might be shit, but it's not smart to send out a whole PR kit to a micro-influencer 
other who won't reach as big of an audience of, say, someone like Manny Mooch. Dear Lord, God forbid. The return on investment for it is not that high, hence why she only sent out one or two products to the micro-influencers. Considering the price point too, that was very nice of Jacqueline to do that. I'd like to see more beauty gurus send their PR to smaller influencers in the future. But Jacqueline definitely needs to rethink her packaging. A tiny product being sent in a huge wasteful box? We don't stand a non-environmentally friendly queen. Now in more news, Faze Banks and Alyssa Violet. Who are they? Who cares? No, just kidding. So firstly, Faze Banks, whose real name is Ricky Banks, is an American vlogger, YouTuber and Chief Operating Officer of the gaming team Faze Clan. He's also a songwriter, composer and producer. Now Alyssa Violet is a model and Instagram star who earned representation with Next Models. She has over 8 million followers on Instagram and she also runs a popular YouTube channel where she posts comedic videos for over 3.8 million subscribers. She's also the former girlfriend of Jake Paul and to save you 10 years of your life, when they were dating, Jake Paul cheated on her all the time. Treated her like absolute shit. Got everyone in the Team 10 house to gang up on her and then Nick Minute, she exposed him on YouTube. Alyssa then quickly moved on to Faze Banks, who hates Jake Paul as well, so it was a happily ever after for them. Until now. So Faze Banks was recently accused of cheating on Alyssa Violet by Alyssa Violet herself on Twitter. Shit got ugly real fast. Alyssa had tweeted, don't catch feelings, you'll die. Can I get a hoya? A fan had said, how did you find out you were being cheated on? Alyssa had said, I was asleep upstairs with our dogs and he wasn't next to me so I checked our guest house and caught him naked in bed with a random girl. Edit, guest wing of the house. Did you love me when you f***ed all the girls I was worried about while we were dating after the breakup? Did you love me when you smashed in the back of Chantal's window of her car that she gave me? Faze Banks had then tweeted, I love you. Um, what the hell? Well, you will date only YouTubers who are young, dumb and full of cum and rich. What do you expect? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Money and fame doesn't buy happiness, people, nor does it buy true love. She hopped into that relationship pretty fast after her and Jake Paul split. So I don't know, was it a rebound? Don't know. And speaking of Jake Paul, apparently him and Alyssa are back together again. Um, what the hell? Jake had recently posted a picture of them kissing to his Instagram saying, what I never got to say, these days, December 13th. Um, is he in a bit of a love triangle or something? One minute he's married to Tanner, the next he's cheating with his ex Erica, and now he wants to be dating Alyssa again? What is going on? Now leading back to Faze Banks, hate him so much. He had attempted to defend his cheating on Alyssa by posting a lengthy expose tweet about her. He had said, I could spend the next few minutes listing all the horrible things Alyssa has done to me and why we didn't work and why I did what I did. Obviously there's two sides to every story and neither of us have been perfect. Rather than contribute to all of that, I'm going to do the right thing and take responsibility for where I've gone wrong in this. Alyssa and I had been having issues and I did something really stupid and hurtful. There's additional context and it's not as simple as who's right and who's wrong. It doesn't even matter at this point. What matters is we're both human and we've both definitely hurt each other. We've been broken up for six months now and this incident happened almost a full year ago. It's haunted both of us for a long time. We all F up. That's human. What that girl and I shared was special. One in a billion special. Something that I don't expect to share with another human for as long as I'm alive. We had issues and couldn't fix them. We were miserable together for a while and couldn't ever let each other go. I think I speak for both of us when I say that love was and always will be a very real thing, which is why I refuse to let our very intimate private relationship become a spectacle online. It's heartbreaking. Social media really isn't the place. I wasn't expecting this because we were always both very much on the same page about making sure we have a line drawn in the sand about what we share with our audience. But again I see that she's hurt and I understand where it's coming from. Liz, if you're reading this, love you. It hurts me a lot that you're hurt, but I promise hurting me won't make you feel better. I wish every day that it could have been different. I will never ever not love you and I'll always be here. I truly do wish the best for you. I won't ever say a bad word about her. So sorry for everyone who wanted another sip of tea. You won't find that here. I'm sorry. I love you all. Now Alyssa had also exposed a private message between Faze Banks and herself, shedding even more light on the cheating situation. Clearly this happened quite a few times, probably more, but these are the only times Alyssa had receipts and was able to call him out on it. Here we can see in the private message Alyssa had said goodbye, Faze had replied, dude why? I love you. What the hell Liss? This ain't cool. I love you? Did you love me when you were hooking up with a random in our home? Did you love me when you snapchatted that girl in Vegas to come f you when I was at dinner with you? Dude, WTF is this? I always kept my promises. Did you love me when I was in Orlando for my cousin's wedding and you hooked up with a girl in our bed? What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation.